Hello there, Trevor. My name is Dr. Dave, and I hear you've got some questions about your upcoming vasectomy. Well, doctor, my wife here has been worried that this might change our sex life. I, I told her not to worry. I just want to be cautious before we jump into such a permanent decision. Well, medically speaking, you will become a woman as a result of the surgery. Excuse me? I said you will become a woman as a result of the surgery. That's exactly what I was afraid of. You see, once the body loses the ability to transport sperm, it attempts to correct for that change by increasing other chemicals produced within the body. Those changes grow slowly over time until eventually you become a woman. What kind of changes, doctor? Well, empathy, estrogen, and a nagging desire to accuse others of never listening are all symptoms likely to occur. He never listens. Why would that make me a woman? Well, if you can't produce the ingredients necessary to create and teach your own son how to throw a baseball, in what sense are you still a man? Do you know what we in the medical community call someone who can't produce a healthy son from his penis? We call them a woman. Nothing personal, doctor, but I think I'd like a second opinion at this point. Yes, of course. This is a typical reaction, and we have a second doctor here and ready to quell those pesky feelings of yours. Tom, could you come inside now, please? You know, with all the second guessing and feelings you're exhibiting, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you're becoming a woman right before our eyes. Well, that's hardly appropriate. Good morning, doctor. Doctor? Now, Trevor here is having some second thoughts about his vasectomy. He's worried about the fact that he won't be a man anymore. Well, that's completely natural. I remember when I transitioned, I thought my whole identity was going to be in jeopardy until I realized that was just my neurotic woman brain overthinking for me instead of my penis. You're telling me you're a woman? Of course. Didn't you notice the way I sashayed into the room? Look, Terry. Trevor. It's not so bad. The fact of the matter is that I'm still a confident and capable member of this faculty. I'm a responsible voting citizen in my country, and I have a loving family and a beautiful wife at home, which in turn arouses me deeply, because I've always been drawn more towards lesbian pornography than your typical penis-based sex films. Well, that's Tom the Lady Doctor for you. Always has an opinion on something. <laughs> hey, watch it there! <laughs> you see, Tanya, becoming a woman has been one of the bigger joys in my life. Sure, the boys like to razz me come time at the annual company picnic, but who could blame them? What with my newfound lack of strength, I'm completely useless to them during the company tug-of-war. But vasectomies do have their advantages. And what are the advantages? Huh? Oh, uh, I found out I love strawberry daiquiris. <laughs> it's a crazy topsy-turvy world we're living in here, Trudy. It's best not to fight it. Go with the flow, and above all, listen to your body. You'll know in your heart if this is the right decision for you. But don't take it from me. After all, I am a lady doctor. Hopped up on hormones and impulsive thoughts of a lesbian nature. Well, I have always wanted to sleep with a lesbian. <laughs> That's the ticket.